In this video, uh, we're going to show you how to print reports on Lab Solution. Uh, Miss Rico99 asked me, How do you print a calibration graph? Uh, let me show you how to do that. All right, I got to put Teddy down and head to the lab. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click Post Run over here. And in the Post Run menu, you'll see Post Run and you'll see Browser. You're going to want to go into Post Run for this one. Okay, now that you're in Post Run, you can notice that there's a bunch of tabs here. This tab over here is for your data. This tab is for your methods. This tab is for your reports. And this tab is for all. So I get asked the question is like, okay, well, you know, if I'm looking at my data in Post Run, so if I'm in here and I'm in like PDA data analysis, you know, I'm looking at some PDA demo data right here any day now. You're like, how do I print this stuff? Well, a good thing is you can always copy and paste any of these items onto Excel. So whatever you want to do, you can always copy and paste. So that's that's one convenient way to do it. But honestly, if you want a, a proper report, then you want to go into reports. So the way that you go into reports is you go into the report, you have this tab here, you know, you have the report from a tab, and you select a template. Now. Shimatsu has a bunch of templates. So if you look here at the file explorer, if you go into, into lab solutions, sample, um, LC, we can go into here. You can see a bunch of these, like you can see, you can see a bunch of these templates here. The report file format for a report is .lsr. So over here, let's just go ahead and do this one since we're doing like quantitative results one, okay? So these are your pre-embedded reports. And what you can do is you could just toggle over here to your, your files and you just drag and drop. And then boom, there you go, that's your report. So you can select all of these different report file formats and you can see what works for you. Now, if you wanted to do your own report file format, then that's what all of these icons are up here. You know, you have a contour graph, your UV spectrum, blah, 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 blah. If you want, you could add on to this report or let's close this and let's do a new report format. So it's a new one, not save it. And basically you can select any one of these guys. So say for example, I want to add the calibration curve. I could click it here. You click that, you click here. And I don't know why, but like the size is always all super tiny here, very annoying. Um, so you want to make sure that's like nice and big. So always have to change the size, otherwise you're like, what, what happened, right? Okay, you apply that and then there you go. And you can always resize like this too, right? Pro tip, did you know if you click on each of these and you go into table, there's all these other hidden values here that you can add over. So if you wanted to add more data, like you wanted to see if there's something else in there, you can do that. So there's actually a lot of functions within each uh, report um, section that you can change a lot of these things. People don't know that this exists, but you can like add a bunch of items, hide a bunch of items, and do a lot of formatting in here. And then you can add more and more stuff if you want, right? Peak table, again, change the width because apparently ants use the software. I don't know why it's defaulted at five and five, but let's see 150 and whatever, 150, 100, apply, and boom, there you go, right? That's how you do reports, easy peasy. Just make it like you want it and get the data that you want and, and you're good to go. And if you want to print, you can check how it seems, could go preview, right? You could do that, you could do that, or you can do um, file PDF output and it'll generate a PDF for you directly and you can also file print straight to your printer. So a lot of different options um, to, to kind of see what it would look like in print format. And that's reports. You did it. Hopefully that video was helpful for you. Now you know how to print reports on Lab Solution. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. Like, subscribe, ask questions if you want to see more videos. Let's go, Teddy. Mm -hmm.